Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog. My name is Jessica Miller. I make motherhood and lifestyle vlogs. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe so you can see more of that. I got no drip in my pocket. Must have forgot it or maybe I already lost it. We're about to head into the mall. We're gonna be running a couple errands today. We're going to Zara. We gotta get some hair care products. We gotta get some makeup. We do several things. Later on, we might go have some fun with the kids. It's me, my husband, Mello, Leia. We're all gonna be going to the mall. We always set ourselves up for failure and do this all the time, but it's not so bad as you would think with two kids. So we're about to head in now. So just come spend the day with us. So I'm gonna try to carefully take him out of the car seat and transition him into the stroller. I thought that might happen though. Normally we would try to have him in the duna so I can just like transition him straight out. But I didn't think he was gonna be sleeping that long. So since he was still asleep, I tried to switch him out into it. But you know, little man had other plans. But he's sleeping for like an hour, so it's okay. <laughs> She's not feeling 100% right now. Normally we would just have one stroller and she would walk or something. Y'all see her on her little scooter. But um, she's not feeling the best, so we went ahead and just pulled both out so she can lay down. <laughs> Away, take it away, feeling too good to me. I feel like you sleep recording me. Like, I didn't even know. I turned around the camera. <laughs> it's like 12 19. We were trying to make it at 11 so that it's not so crowded, but it's still not that packed. We like to try to come early if we can, especially when we're with the kids, so that we can avoid like long lines and all that kind of stuff. But it's a Sunday, so I might get a little crowded eventually. <laughs> Let's see how this all fits. Please. The camera's pointing to you, baby. You gotta turn it around. So we're giving Leia the chance to record. Can you see me? You gotta be able to see me. Can you see my head? Yeah. Yeah? All right, let's see. So these pants, they only had an extra small, which I am a small and clearly, mm -mm. I gotta be able to breathe. I gotta be able to sit, I gotta be able to eat. Can you see me, Leia? Yeah. <laughs> all right. I think you're gonna be a videographer. I kind of like them, though. It's too heavy. What do you think, Leia? It's too heavy? I like them. They're a little tight. Like, I can wear them standing up, but I don't know if I'll I, sit down, but that's what, can you put this that's what the problem might be. This white satin shirt is cute. They all have makeup on the collar, though. Like, I seriously don't understand why. I think stores need to make a policy where it's like, they have one white try-on shirt in every size, and then anything else you want to buy white, you can't touch it, because then they all end up with a makeup line. Mommy. I think it's a nice shirt. Mommy. I'm trying to find like some casual but cute fits. I'm obsessed with anything and everything mesh from Zara. I think they look so cute. This one has like a little twist tie thing on the shoulder. Once some of our buys are closed, we're probably gonna go up to the food court to get some food next. 
So I'm out here taking a little breastfeed break with Melo. He was really hungry, he couldn't wait any longer. Lamar is inside Zara. They're in line, they're about to like buy some stuff and then come out, probably even on the food court next. Leia just had a little meltdown. Not a meltdown, she just had like a little moment while we were in the um, fitting room because it's past her nap time. She's also like not feeling 100%, so I'm sure like the two together is just, you know how kids get when they need a nap. But she's fine now, like it wasn't really that bad. Yeah, so I'm buying some clothes and y'all, I swear there's so many cute shirts in there like especially like crop top type stuff that I'm like this would be so cute to wear but that's the thing I hate about after you have babies it's like I don't like how my belly button looks so like around ow man I don't like how around my belly button looks so I've been having this thing where I really don't want to show my stomach and it's so limiting like I hate it my options of when I want to put an outfit together are just like real limited I don't know I'm hoping that I can get that back together like after doing physical therapy and stuff I may try to get like a hernia repair I think I have a really small umbilical hernia I'll get it all checked out eventually, but yeah. <laughs> The bottle look longer. Yeah, but I want to see the one's the darker brown and one's the lighter brown. Guys, I'm barely making it. Like as the day goes on, I'm feeling a little, little more under the weather. I'm not full blown sick, but it's definitely getting to me. I think that's why I was feeling so sleepy earlier. I still feel sleepy. And I also feel like weak in my bones a little bit, but I'm trying to make it through the day. Maybe sleep will make me feel better. Lamar's over here getting some tea for Leia. We're walking to Flippo's now. Leia and Lamar are already inside. Little Mian was taking a nap, so I'll wait for him to wake up before we go inside. So now we're gonna catch the tail end of it. Okay. 
Hey guys, so it's the next day. I didn't finish filming yesterday because I just wasn't feeling good. Like as the day went on, I just started feeling more and more under the weather. So I wanted to make sure I come back and show you guys what I got from Ulta Beauty. I also couldn't film in Ulta because A, the people were serious about closing at what, like six o'clock? They were not playing. They were literally rushing everybody out the store. They kept checking with you to say, do you have everything? We're gonna close the register. So I had to rush out of there and also Leah was really, she was really hungry. And so she was very adamant about saying she wants to eat, which I felt really bad about. So I was able to record. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got from there. I'm also, I'll also show you guys what I fully got from Mac and Sephora because I don't know if I, I don't know how well I was able to show you guys that. Yeah, so I got a lot of things from Ulta. I'm trying to like revamp my routine with Leia. I feel like it could use some work. I don't know how much hair products actually make a difference. Like I feel like it's more about being consistent and wearing like bonnets at night and stuff so that it, they don't have the that rubbing of their hair and that creates like dry areas. I got two, well I got a few things for me. This is the shampoo and conditioner that I use on my hair. This is what they use at the hair salon that I go to. So I buy the product that they tell me to buy. I never heard about this brand until they told me about it. But this is what it is, Matrix. It's a shampoo and conditioner. I use this religiously. And then I also bought a really big hair clip for my hair. Like I, I hate that with my hair when it's like this, I basically always have to wear it down. You know, like I feel like I can like switch up the style and stuff, especially when my hair is puffy. But when it's this curled and defined, I think I can play with it. And like, you know, lately I've been seeing people do the thing where they have like two hairs in front or whatever hanging down and then they like clip the back. So I'm like, okay, maybe I could try that hairstyle. This isn't it exactly, but you know what I mean. Sometimes I'm like, do I look childish with that though? But we're gonna try it with like an actual outfit and makeup and I think it'll be cute. So I got a clip like that. And now for Leia's hair, I bought a new bristle brush just for like regular styling. Cause the one I have right now is too hard. I have one that's too hard, but it's narrow. And then I have one that's softer, but it's really broad. And I don't like it when it's so broad because when I'm parting her hair and doing like small sections the broad brush like grabs more hair than I like so I got this one to brush her hair and then I got this detangling brush I'm ex really excited for this so when I um, you know comb her hair out while it's wet with like conditioner and stuff I'm using this detangling brush I have another tangle teaser product that's like it's like a how do you say it? like it sits in your palm but I like this one better because it has like a handle and stuff so the old one I've had it for a while and it's kind of like falling apart so I got this one I also bought new shampoo and conditioner. I got two different products. This I saw online. I was trying to like, I really want to find products that are made for curly, natural, ethnic hair. I was like reading up online and this one like hair expert recommended Maui products. So I have the Maui shampoo and conditioner. I hope I'm holding it up right. And then she also recommended this African black soap reviving shampoo that I'm going to try on her hair. But um, when I was bringing it up though, the guy was like, he's like, oh yeah, I think we're discontinuing this product so I was like oh <laughs> that's not a good sign <laughs> but anyway I still bought it this is shampoo but I went ahead and got this shampoo just in case since they said they were discontinuing this product yeah so Maui moisture hair care they said these are sulfate free products and it has a bunch of it's everything free no mineral oil no silicones no parabens no gluten no SLS no sulfated surfactants no synthetic dye no ALES whatever that is it has no everything and it's vegan pure coconut water and pure aloe out of everything I just said I just know aloe good for your hair and that's something else I want to try like I want to try my friend Tundra actually told me about this like you get aloe vera and I think just straight up aloe vera and you do like a deep condition with it you put it rub it all in the hair I want to try that on her hair too the reason why I even want to do all these things to Leia's hair is because since she was a baby she had like a bald patch in the back of her head and so now there's like uneven growth the top of her hair is nice and long but the back is taking longer to grow in so I just want to really make sure that I'm able to like hydrate it and care for it properly. So that's why I am buying these things to hopefully make it a little bit easier. I already have some uh, like maintenance products like leave-in conditioner and stuff like that. I'm still trying to like play around with that. And I order some stuff off Amazon too, so I don't have that to show you guys. Once I establish a routine and if I feel like it works good, I'll probably make a video showing you guys. But yeah, so that was like all the hair care products that I got. And then um, I told you guys, I got the lip liner from MAC, the cork color. I'm really excited about this. I like every time I get my makeup done or like, when I see people, I always see like the new thing is to have like a darker, like a nudish brown lip liner. And I really like that look, but I don't like it when it's too dark. Then you start looking like you're back in like 90s and that's not where I'm trying to go for. Like, y'all saw I need to order the lipstick online, but like I kind of want to blend it out together so that it forms like not an ombre, but like, so it's not like a fine line, you know? This should work out nicely. And then I also got this color from Refi Lip Sculpt. This one is top. They say it's supposed to be really long lasting, but honestly, that's not why I got it. I got it because the color looks good. This 
is like a lighter brown so just in case like i feel like a darker brown will be for like when i'm really doing my makeup and this may be for like a lighter day if i don't want my lips to look so dramatic so that's why i got the refi and then the last thing was just like a replacement of my setting spray because i was running out of it i keep showing y'all the french side the english side this one's from rare beauty i use it it's pretty good so i just had to replace that and yeah that's it i really need to like step up my makeup game though i feel like i do it like it looks good i think my makeup looks good but i know i can like up my level a little bit i'm gonna try to buy other products too eventually but not right now one thing at a time right now hair is my main my main thing i got my makeup good enough to where it doesn't even be my priority so yeah that's everything i hope y'all enjoy this vlog make sure to subscribe if you want to see more motherhood and lifestyle content and check back next week for my next video